My dear students, today I would be taking up two topics from oncology and pulmonology and my topics today would be small cell lung CA and pancost's tumor. Now you will be already delighted by the fact that I'm taking up these two topics today because you are well aware of the fact how many questions and how many times these topics have been asked in your exams. So a high yield topic and I will be going through the most important points as usual about these two topics. So first of all taking small cell lung cancer into account you have to remember that small cell lung cancer happens to be an aggressive form of lung CA, a very and highly invasive type of lung cancer. Unfortunately at the time of diagnosis most of the patients, most of the patients unfortunately have a widespread metastatic disease and that leads us as doctors with less options for treating these patients as they would like us to. So aggressive type of a lung CA, highly invasive and usually distant metastasis present at the time of diagnosis unfortunately and important fact is that these types of lung cancers usually represent 10 to 20 percent of the malignant lung cells. They are basically given the name as undifferentiated lung cancers or the old cell carcinoma of the lung. So you have to remember these synonymous terms. Terms like these old cell CA represents which type of lung CA questions like these have been asked as well. So you have to remember the terminology, the related terms of these conditions. Now as far as the pathogenesis of small cell lung CA is concerned, you have to remember that they are associated with smoking and usually they are central in location. Very important points. Now, as far as the embryology or origin is concerned, they arise from the primitive cells. There are those basal cells in the bronchial epithelium and they arise from the primitive cells or the basal cells of the respiratory or the bronchial epithelium. They happen to be the origin of small cell lung C. Now, basically, most of the cells around are oval with scant cytoplasm. That's very important pathological feature and usually with hyperchromatic large nuclei. The tumor cells are seen in sheets or clusters. That's very important feature. And in addition to that, abundant mitosis. Abundant mitosis is a pathological feature of small cell lung C. Now, you have to remember that these cells have got secretory properties and that's by virtue of certain granules, secretory granules in the cytoplasm and they elaborate a wide range of substances like neuron specific anolase, chromogranin and synaptophysin. So these levels are associated with the lung C of small cell variety. In addition you have to remember that because of highly aggressive nature, they are not surgically, I mean, resectable most of the times. And chemotherapy and radiotherapy happen to be the diagnosis, uh, treatment modalities for treatment of small cell lung C. So that's important. Now, as far as the pan tumor is concerned, you have to remember that pan tumor is usually called an apical lung tumor or a speeder sulcus tumor. We have got these subclavian vessels and they form a groove at the upper or the apex of the lung and usually the tumor, pan tumor is called as a speeder sulcus tumor or a tumor occurring usually at the apex of the lung. Now because this space is related to the neck it has got a propensity to invade the neck and the surrounding structures in the neck and usually there is a cervical sympathetic chain and affection or compression of the cervical sympathetic chain causes ipsilateral Horner syndrome 
as well as it can cause destruction of the upper ribs as well as atrophy of the head muscles and pain in the distribution of C8, T1 and T2 because of compression of C8, T1 and T2 nerve roots. Now as I told you that there is this superior sulcus or the groove which is formed by the subclavian vessels there can be effective compression of the subclavian vessels which can cause a lot of symptomatology which we will be taking up ahead. Now we have to remember that this is important and it can present as ipsilateral hot nerve syndrome which is tosis, meiosis, and hydrosis and loss of spinal reflex. So these are some of the very important features about the pan Cox tumor and the small cell lung C. So I hope that you will just remember all these important points about these two topics and they will be beneficial for you as far as your upcoming exams are concerned. Wish you good luck for your exams. Thanks a lot.